I'm Merrick Demano. And I am Matt, and I like Legos. So do I. I think everyone likes Legos at one point or another. I've yet to meet someone who says they detest Legos. I mean, yeah, stepping on a Lego brick, fine, but like the, yeah, sure. the thing itself, everyone likes it. Yeah, for sure. Um, you remember several episodes ago, I think episode 170. Oh, a while ago. Which was, I think, over 100 episodes, almost over 100 episodes ago. Uh, give or take. Actually, let's, let's take a double check. Why not? It's always nice to be accurately correct. Film covers. We did a lot of those. Um, yep, yeah, one seventy is Bionicle Mask of Light. This is episode two sixty eight. So this is about this is ninety eight episodes ago. Yeah, almost there. Almost at the big one hundred. And we, uh, it was not a good movie. It made very little sense. Partly because it decided to jump right into the Rakshi and the Mask of Light. Yeah. Instead of, you know, the origin of the Toa, their quest to find the, the Kanohi masks. Because um, there's... Each Kanohi mask bestows a power. Yeah. The movie didn't actually explain that. Um, each Kanohi you know- mask bestows a power. Um, and... There are different Kanohi... The toy could, like, switch Kanohi masks to get different powers. Yeah. And then they, um, event to each... And then to combine all of the masks to a golden version of their mask, which had all of the powers. Hell yeah. And then use that to beat the Makuta, who is corrupting the... The, the animals to make them attack the Matoran so we could destroy Matanui. Damn, that, then, that's all really interesting. And then they awoke the Borok... Which were a swarm of like alien beetle monsters who could shoot their larva at at a Toa or a Matoran or a Taraga and like possess them. And so they're like xenomorphs crossed with a uh, Knight of the Creeps kind of thing. Bro, Bionicle is so fucking dope. And so the Toa like suited up in mech suits. And went down to the center of the earth to fight the Borok queens. What the fuck? <laughs> and and they beat them, but unfortunately they fell into protodermis. And then they awoke as the, the silver armored uh, Toa Nuva. And then they fought uh, six elite super powered Borok called the Borok Kal, who are also silvered up. And then Makuta came back with the rock shin and they had to look for the Toa of Light and that was the movie. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff leading up to that movie <laughs> that we didn't get movies of that would have been much more interesting. You know, Mary, it's, I, I kind of wish that there was a movie that could explain a little bit of the backstory. Well, too bad. There isn't. Damn it. No, at least not that backstory. Ah, well, even more damn it. But there is another one. There is a Bionicle 2. Hell yeah. Legends of Metru Nui. Hell yeah. Which is, of course, a prequel. Of course. Six ordinary Matoran are chosen to become Toa, guardians of the legendary city of Metru Nui. But as they, accustomed to their new role, conflicts quickly arise between them and a sinister plot is set in motion right under their noses. Damn. Um, 2004, one year after the first one, an hour and 15 minutes, which I was grateful for, and a 6.0, 6 out of 10 rating. That's a lot higher than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. The last one had Scott McNeil, this is nobody. I mean, it, yeah. has, it has Paul Dobson. Paul Dobson? I don't know who he is. Just the name looks familiar. Uh, I'm looking up. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's why I know him. But what do you know him from? He plays the fucking E Honda in Street Fighter. Oh. Well, he but, played... Oh yeah. Well, it was the cartoon. That's what I thought. He played in the Diki. Interesting. Hey, you just did a lot of cartoons, I think. Oh, Lee Tokar. Oh, and anime. Lee Takar plays Makuta. Oh shit! He's motherfucking Zarbon. Let's go. Zarbon? From uh, Dragon Ball Z. Who is? Lee Tokar? 
uh, the the Paul 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 whatever. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul Dobson. Dobson. Yeah. Lee Takar, I think, is in something that we shouldn't remember. <laughs> Why? Lee Takar is in. Oh my God, he's in the Ocean Productions of Dragon Ball. He played Frieza. Yeah. Okay. A lot of anime and cartoons. He it, Lee Takar plays Wick. Ah. In Teenage Mutant Ninja, in Ninja Turtles: The Next Mutation. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Yep. <laughs> sure was. Oh, he's also Bez in Mummies Alive. Oh, cool. He's in Street Sharks. He's John Talbane in Darkstalkers, the TV series. Which I keep forgetting exists. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? Bionicle? Bionicle 2, yeah. So, <laughs> let's, I almost forgot. let's watch Bionicle. Y- yeah, I'm always down for Bionicle. Hell yeah. There is an island city called Metro Nui, surrounded by mystery, threatened by darkness. We shall not fail. Where the torch of leadership will be passed to a new generation of heroes. The city needs your help. The destiny of Metro Nui rests in your hands. Each holds a piece of the puzzle that can unlock the secrets of unlimited power. The great spirit shall guide you in ways you could not imagine. But as the forces of evil battle to tear them apart, Look out! their only hope is to stand together. We use the mass powers the great spirit gave us. Follow me! Every legend has a beginning. Bionicle 2, Legends of Metru Nui. Now on DVD and video. Okay, so that was weird, but kind of better than the first one at least. Yeah, like, I don't know really what happened, but like, I enjoyed it. For what it was. (laughs) Seriously, what the fuck happened in this movie? I just remember a lot of moving parts happening, and then we got to the end. I, 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 we, I know something about them becoming Toa. I know those rocks, we again start with rocks in a sandbox. Hell yeah. Because of course we do. Of course we do. It's a fucking Bionicle movie. And I'll be upset at the third something one. Something that Makuta wants to make all the Matorans sleep so he can emerge as the Conqueror. Does he want to play a cool game of Coley again? No, there's no Coley. Thank you. There's no Coley because Coley makes no sense because it's it sense. it's soccer with hammers, but three teams. <laughs> <laughs> three teams, two. It's not a good game. <laughs> I love the first movie. In like a bad way. Yeah. Oh fuck. Shout out to all the Coley fans out there. All two of you. Uh, I don't know. I remember, like, there was, like, a lot of backstory talking about the whole things, and then uh, some some Toa guy, what is it, Lecon? Yeah, Toa Lecon. He's yeah. protecting a thing. And he's, like, dropping off these stones at, like, different people's houses mm. unannounced, like a rude person. Yeah, he, he drops them with Matorans called... Okay, this is where it gets difficult. Um, <laughs> I, I have absolutely no idea what they a, are called. I just remember Bakuman. There's a Gatoran. I think it's Gatoran. And one of the blue ones called Nokama. There's an, an uh, Anoa. Uh, yeah, Anoa. There's a Nuju. Uh, Jeez. Oh wait, I have I have a list of all the names here. If you didn't get them all, I, I have a list. Um, okay, good. 
Vakama, Nakama, Matau, Nuju, Onoa, and Fuenua. I'm not going to remember any of those. Yeah, I have I'll keep, I'll keep the list open just in case. Uh, the last but one I don't it, remember. It, and they're respectively, Nokama is from the Water Tribe. Water Tribe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> New Jews from the Ice Tribe. Matau is from the Air Tribe. Onawa is from the Stone Tribe. Wenua is from the Earth Tribe. They are a teacher, a writer, a builder, a scientist, and a archivist. And then there's Man. Nakama. Of fire. You a lot more shit than I do. There's Vakama of fire, who is a mask maker. He is a mask maker. And he's working on the mask the mask of time. And a Turaga, this is a, a Matoran elder and the leader of a tribe. Yeah. He's called Duma. Turaga Duma. Duma. He's like, hey, yes, do you have the mask of time ready yet? Nah, sorry. The, these discs aren't good enough. We need one yeah. of the great discs, but only Toa can go find those. He's just like, ah, well. All right. Do it. Just do it, though. No more <laughs> I was excuses. like, okay. And then shit happens. And some dirt, some, uh, a gorilla man. I like the gorilla one. And Be a fun. bug man. Kind of stormed the place, called really. Called Nidiki attack Toa Lakan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They sure do. We get a fight scene, I think. Yeah, they actually hit each other. Alright, like, I'll, yeah, I'll count they, it. They didn't in um, <laughs> in the first one. Was, was there actually ever a fight scene? No, the they, they just hit the ground and then energy would attack their enemies. And it... The only... <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. Because the only thing I remember from the first one is fire and air. Haha, <laughs> makes glass. That's the only thing I remember from the first movie. I think you're forgetting an ingredient there. I probably. Sand. I'm not. Uh, whatever. I mean, I'm not they're forgetting remember. an ingredient. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Uh, can. Oh, fight of course. Them? Matau. He is oh, yeah. like like Liwa in the last one. He is a, the one of the air ones. Yeah. Meaning he speaks in weird. <laughs> Is that what we're just calling it? Just weird? Yeah, it gets it speaks old. In it weird? gets old. Yeah. Fast. It does. It really does. Uh, fucking Lakan fights these two. Uh, he's winning, I think. I think Nidiki and... used to be his brother. Sure. He Also, he, Lakan's the last of the Toa. Yeah. Very important. I think Nidiki used to be a Toa. Maybe. I don't remember. It would be a clever, it's... like, a Toa who legit sided with the Makuta would be interesting. Yeah, it would be. 100%. But I don't know if that's gone into... These are called the Dark Hunters, by the way. Sure. They fail to... Well, ki- they, they don't quite kill Lacan. No, and but then, they, they threaten to drop the kid over lava. Yeah. He's not a kid. He's an adult, but he's just a Matoran. So he's... I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why they're so hesitant about violence when everyone's a robot, either. I... Who knows? I, I, I sure don't. But they... they, they Toa Lakan grabs uh, Vakama, gives him the rock, and then they he takes his swords, makes them into a shield. Yeah. And then surfs down the lava. Yep. He rescues uh, Vakama, but dies. Is that what happens? I thought he just got taken away and we never saw him in the movie again. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. Uh, but they, they go. Yeah, Vakama goes. To, um... Wherever the map was pointing yeah, to, the, to. To where the map is. Meets all the others. Then they put like, their magic rocks in a thing and become Toa. Just like that? Yeah. Cool. Like, hey, we should, like, prove for the Toa by, like, finding the great discs. Which, you know, cool. We got our movie set up, like, for at least a little bit, right? We're gonna go find the disc. Each person's gonna have their uh. own story you know they're gonna have their own challenge and it's and it's done yeah that, that would have been a tv show maybe but this is, yeah. this is a movie we we don't have long we have to go no, we got we got a montage the day is approaching to give <laughs> it your best you've got to reach your prime that's when you need to put yourself to the test and show us 
passage of time. time Good to need more. Just showing all would take too long. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we get a montage of them doing the thing, and then they just return back to their home. They they come into the into the Coliseum like, "Hey, we're Toa. We found the discs." Doom is like, "Ah, fuck!" <laughs> it, it's they're all there are these things around like these robot bug things, which are his soldiers. Yeah, I, he, his reaction is almost ah, Toa Vakama. I didn't expect to see you. Looks at Nadiki. <laughs> Alive. Alive. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a tad hint of that there, yeah. Uh, they're like, yeah, we're Toa. And he's like, oh yeah? Uh, no, you're not. Survive this. And the then he does a weird... Protodermis, which is like pillars that shoot out of the ground. Hell yeah. And they lose. And then yeah, they, yeah. They go, quite hard. Uh, three of them get captured, and the other three go down a water pipe. This is like 15 minutes into the movie, by the way. Yeah. Or like 20. We still have like another 50 to go. This is why I was very confused when that whole thing just happened. Yeah. And very weird. Era. So, um... What are their names again? Um, the, the when thought... Nua, Nuju, and Onewa are sitting in prison... With, yeah. with a mysterious Turaga... And he wants to help them know who they are so they can use their mask powers. Oh yeah, that whole thing happens. Vakama has visions about Matoran and Pods. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. This whole part kind of just left my mind. I guess Invasion of the Body Snatchers is now happening. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> They're already here. I know, this whole section of the movie just kind of, like, flew by me, I'm not gonna lie. But, like, just, I had no idea what the fuck was happening. It's just a bunch of stuff that happened. <laughs> like, like, actually. Like, 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 n- not even joking, that is exactly, like, it's just things that happen to get to the end. I think we get character development, maybe? Maybe, I know Vakama has confidence, gets confidence in himself. As the main character usually does. I can you remember us. everyone's weapons? Everyone just kind of has, like, a pair of things. I know one of them's got, like, a, like the blue one has, like, the two axes or whatever. Yeah, axes that let her swim. Uh, the green one has sort of swords that he can fly with. Uh, yeah. The, the one of, just got a the, disc shooter. The earth one's got shovels. <laughs> one has ice picks, probably the ice one. Yeah, uh, and our main guy has like the yeah, disc flamey thing. disc shooter. I actually had uh, that Bionicle set, uh, the one for Kama. Man, I wish I could remember the Bionicles that I had. It's been so long. Uh, I, I remember, don't even remember which one I had. Uh, classic Tahu. Yeah, that's the red one from the original. I had Toa uh, Tahu Nuva. I had Gali Nuva. That's the blue one. Yeah, I had Taka Nuva. I had black and blue Borox. I had black and blue Borok Call. I had red and brown Rakshi. And I had Vakama. Oh, I also had Taraga Vakama. Oh. Like the little, just little dude of Vakama. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I remember. I also had the green disc throwing Matoran from McDonald's. I had a few of those too. I think I still have them around. And so. I had two of the brown uh, Metru, Metru, Metru Noe Matorans. Like yeah. came with disc shooters. Bionicle's so dope. Yeah, Bionicle's so cool. Uh, I know, like, um, Onewa, like, Onewa, fucking Wenua, and Nuju are, like, trying to escape, like, wherever they're being held. By learning, doing Yoda training? Yeah, like, Turaga comes in, he's like, yo, uh, your mask gives you power. So Maybe figure that out. Comes in, is like, let's get down to business. <laughs> to defeat Makuta. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. I mean, it's a white. He ha, he's wearing a mask over a mask, so he's obviously in disguise. Yeah, but it's Yoda, basically. It's it's Yoda. He's they're gonna, he's going to teach the Jedi how to do the thing, you know. <laughs> uh, but they 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 do eventually escape. Uh, some dude's got like night vision or some shit. The one is X ray vision. 
That's it. Uh, one has con- control mind, which is horrifying. Um, oh, yeah. And someone's got, like, telekinesis, I think. Uh, no, telekinesis is moving stuff. Let me double check the mask powers. Uh, I'm just going to get these guys out of the way before I get to the, the, the other ones. Yeah. Okay, Nuju has... Uh, Nidra's the white one, right? Yeah. I could have sw- could have swore you had telekinesis, or at least the ability to move shit. I don't know. This movie was very weird. This movie was just really fucking weird. Like a lot of shit just happens so fast paced that like I lost track. Like I know at some point like they're just like we have powers now, and I went oh okay okay, okay. I must have blinked and missed it. I'm sorry. I mean, that's what you get when you have a movie that's, like, 75 minutes long and <laughs> try to tell the plot of Bionicle. God bless. I don't care how many pieces he had or what the set number was. <laughs> Not even looking up, like, new two power will tell you anything? Like, I'm looking at, I'm trying to... It should list, like, mass power. Boom. But it's... Tools. Badge of office ice pick. Okay, uh... Oh, oh yeah, he, he's t- telekinesis. Yeah, okay. I remember one of them was able to lift shit with his mind. That's the only thing he I remember. He has telekinesis. Onewa. He's the toe of, toe of stone. Mind control. Yeah, he's got mind control. And then Wanua, toe of earth. He has... I don't remember what he has. Night Wait, vision. Uh, night vision, right? Or x-ray vision, whatever? Night vision, you're right. And I just kind of assumed all of the to- the, the Matoran that live in frickin' dark underground caves would have night vision, <laughs> Same. but... At least some sort of way to see in the dark, you know? Oh, they're all being watched by this bird. Oh, yeah. Big old bird. Who's definitely not evil at all. No, nope. this is... Nah. I mean, bad guy's bird, no? Yeah, it's bad guy's bird. Bad guy's bird. We also get a plot twist. With Taruga. Whoa, guys. But you're not going to believe this. Yeah. He was actually Lee Khan. Yeah, the Turaga is Lee Khan, who's a Toa na- Turaga now. Yeah, something about stra- sacrificing his power. Yeah, to save them. And then uh, the other the, the other one, Toa Duma, is Makuta. Whoa. I know, he just takes off his mask while he's alone for no reason. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, audience, I'm Makuta. Remember me from the sequel? I remember when people went, uh, we think so. And you play like Coley or some shit? I am Makuta. Who? Who? <laughs> uh, yeah. Other shit happens. Something about the heart of Metro Nui is like talked about. Well, while well, this is going on, um, the Kama, no Kama, and Matau, they get blown the other way down the water pipe. Hell yeah. Run into a stampede of robot rhinos. Oh yeah. But Nokama can talk to them. So they, they because of course they fight the dark hunters, and then Matau discovers his mask power, which is shape shifting. Oh yeah! And Vakama's like, I doubt myself, so I don't know what mine is yet. Classic main character syndrome. Yeah, not gonna find out till the last battle. And he he kind of like accidentally t- merges all the discs together. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah. And then he makes yeah. the Mask of Time. Sure does. Again, for no reason. Again, they just really needed to get the plot moving along, you know? Yeah. I gotta say, the, of... the actual Metro Nui Toa Bionicles were cool, because they had, like, knee and elbow articulation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And head articulation. Bionicle were just cool, period. Yeah, they were. <laughs> oh, well. well. Maybe we'll one day get them again. Probably not. I want I want Bionicle to make a resurgence. Yeah, they won't. They won't. And even if they did, they'd be ridiculously expensive. Oh yeah, apps, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, the robot things are called the Vaki. The Vaki, that's it. They're robotic enforcers that shoot discs out of their faces. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, Kanoka discs. Kanoka Apparently, masks. Kanoka discs are used to make Kanohi masks. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Bionicles. 
uh, some some shit happens. They all they all kind of meet back together. I think at some point. Yeah, Vakama doesn't know his power yet, so they go. Yeah. They, they're like, "Hey, we gotta save the Matoran because Makuta Tur- Turaga Makuta has just kind of like turned them all into asleep and stuffed them <laughs> in balls." Pretty much, yeah. He's gonna really matrix the shit out of them, you know. No, he's he's gonna keep them there, and then he's gonna wait until he's like made the world cooler, and then let him out. Oh, okay, fair. Enough. I I don't know. I lost I lost track of what his plan was. And Lacan's like, you were supposed to protect the Matorans, not drown them in darkness. And he's like, oh yeah, fuck you, I'm evil. From my point of view, the Toa are evil. Then you are lost. <laughs> Then Vakama just makes the Mask of Time. Yeah, just out of nowhere. And then just breaks like, it. Uh, it's done. And then breaks it. And then Makuta turns into a Balrog. He merges with sure the does. bird. And with the two Dark Hunters. Oh, yeah, uh, what's his face? Dies. Uh, Lakan, yeah, he takes a bullet. Yeah, Lakan with his sh- takes a bullet. His shield sucks because he can't take a bullet. <laughs> And and he was all like, I was supposed to be the one who was gonna die, and Khan's like, Nah, bro, it was gonna, it was me, it was me. And well, all the other uh, what what's it? It's Toa are saving the saving the Matorans. Mm-hmm. Um, Vakama faces down. Um, uh, what's his face, Makuda? Makuda, and yeah. finds out he can turn invisible. Oh yeah, that's his power, yeah, right? Yeah, invisibility. Yeah, it's like fucking. I can turn invisible, I guess. Like, it is oh, funny because yeah, okay. Oniwa uses mind control to make uh, the big gorilla guy get Vidka. Oh yeah, I kind of yeah, yeah kind of forgot funny, about but that. Pointless. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They all fuse to get with with Makuta anyway, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, yeah, he finds out his power is invisibility. Cool, cool. He can use it to fuck around with the final battle. Awesome. Mm. Uh, I don't remember wh- how the battle ends. I'm gonna be real. Uh, he brings I all just the, remember they combine their the powers. The protodermis like, thing. That he, he turns invisible. He knocks the mask out of his hands into the sea. That's it, yeah. Um, they, by powers combined, they summon Captain Planet. Yeah, they all just shoot him with their energy at the same time. <laughs> like, oh fuck, what's? And he's gone. It's like, it, like, okay, like very. This is very fucking like s- stupid as a comparison, but it's like it's like that s- final scene of Sailor Moon, where Sailor Moon just needs everyone's power, so they all just kind of get together and shoot a giant beam and kill the bad guy. It's all it is. Yeah. And then uh, you know they they rescue all the. Uh, all the people who got put into spheres. And then they and go like, oh, shit. to a new island, Matanui. Yeah, they, they sacrifice all their energy. To wake them up. To wake them all up. And they turn out to be... One's Takua. Yeah. For some reason. And Chala is like Jala, there. Yeah, Jala's there, but he doesn't. his mask is broken. Yeah, his mask so is broken. So Vakam, Turaga Vakama just gives him... Toa Lakan's mask... Yeah. I guess. And then the movie's over. Yeah. And that is The Legend of the Bionicle. Oh, the Bionicle. This movie movie's really so fucked. I love yep. it. Yep. Like, it, it's very stupid, but, like, it's a fun stupid, you know? Mm. That's all it is. I like it. It was fun. Like, it's just, it's fun. It's definitely more enjoyable than the first one, in my opinion. Well, stuff actually happens. Yeah, stuff actually happens, and, like, I shit on like the whole fast pacedness of the of the movie, but well, it's, at least yeah. it's not long and boring. Yeah, exactly. It just gets like the bullshit out of the way, so you can you you can come here what you came here to see, bionicle doing bionicle things. I mean, I just, just like, if you want the good story, just read the comics. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, you're not you're not watching the fucking bionicle movies for the the deep dive into the lore, you know. Mm. You'll get some, but you won't get all. This does have a sequel somehow. It, web of, web of Shadows. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's it. That sounds like a fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, it was a Spider-Man title. I was saying, it was a Spider-Man title, wasn't it? So, so they... That's the movie. Yeah. yeah, they are the elders in the next movie. It's fucking... 
plot twist I didn't see coming, I'll admit. Yeah, it's not like Vakama was the name of the Toa and the name of the Turaga <laughs> of, of the city. Listen, all right, kids are going to watch this. I'm not going to pay attention. I just want to see the cool action. Yeah, I just want to see Bionicle doing Bionicle shit. Anyway. What you do get in this? Next week, Scarecrows. Scarecrows? Scarecrows. 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 All right, so I just got one thing. Uh, apparently, fucking Brian Drummond was in this. Yeah. That's funny. Who is he? I know. I, uh, he's done like a few stuff here and there. I'm trying to find the one thing that like I know. Ah, uh, he was in what fucking anime was he? Why is there two sections of animation? Fuck you, fuck you, Wikipedia. Uh, but I I know him from uh, Death Note because he played Ryuk. Oh, who do you play in this? Uh, that. Uh, he play. Uh, give me a second. I'll go back. He played uh, as Toa Ma- uh, Matao. Uh, Toa that makes sense. Yeah, like I didn't realize that was him, but like, look, I've seen that now. I'm like, oh yeah, that that yeah, it's absolutely him. He's also uh, in the first dub of Dragon Ball. He was Vegeta. Oh. Yeah, like that. The 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 ocean dub, which a lot of people shit on, un- understandable. And for some reason, I didn't think this had anyone notable in it. Same? <laughs> well, I mean, granted, the last one had Scott McNeil, and this does not have a Scott McNeil. It does not, in fact, have Scott McNeil, and that's a goddamn uh, travesty. It's a crime. You ask me. Scott McNeil needs to be in everything. Holy shit, he played Knuckles in Sonic Underground. Perfect. Ooh. Triplets born. The throne awaits. Seer, seer warns. warns. Deadly fate. Give up your children. Separate. Bide your time. Lie in wait. Sonic Underground. Underground. <laughs> oh, it's such uh, a bad show. <laughs> it's such a bad show, but I'll watch it any day of the week. <laughs> oh shit. Anyway, next week, Scarecrows. See you then. Scarecrows, yeah. Ciao. Very excited. See you later, everyone. Bye.